everybody and welcome back to my channel and to another food shopping vlog. Um, I am in my kitchen as normal. <laughs> Um, I hope you're all doing really really well. Um, if you're new around here, my name is Claire. I'm a mum of three in Hampshire in the UK and I do food vlogs every week to show you what we are um, buying in our food shop. I try and do it on as much of a budget as possible to keep it low cost because, you know, there's five of us. It is, excuse the noises, my neighbours are obviously in their garden. Um, it is expensive to feed a family of five, especially at the moment with the cost of living crisis that's going on. Um, I know from a lot of the comments I see that food in the UK is like comparatively cheap compared to places like Canada and um, Australia. I think that food in the US is quite expensive from the food vlogs that I watch. Um, but I mean, in the UK, it has risen a lot. We are finding the price increases um, challenging. So I try and do budget food shops to give people inspiration to show that you can eat fairly healthily on a budget. Um, but my food shopping in the last few weeks has been more expensive because I've made some changes. Um, and then after some more information that I have like come across, I've decided to change our food shopping again. So we are as a family, moving away from as much ultra processed food as we can um just because of the negative health effects of it um i'm also going to stop buying squash with sweetener in it because we're just not liking anything that we're reading or hearing about sweeteners so we're just overall trying to make better choices for our family and for our children um because obviously we're like halfway through hopefully not halfway through hopefully we're gonna live you know a long long life but you know they're at the beginning of their lives um and we're you know part way through our lives so it's just really important to me to get their nutrition up so that they can also make good choices when they get older um you know or at least i can say i've done my best for them and then they can go make their own choices um so yeah i'm going to be doing a slightly different shop today i have also got a meal plan for you um it is what day is it today it is tuesday the 6th of june so it's my day off today i have been doing some housework this morning it is about half past 12 now so i'm going to head off to aldi and tesco today i think just because um i need to do it on a bit of a budget and i haven't been to aldi for a little while i am planning on like doing all different supermarkets sainsbury's on my list actually that i want to go to i need to do an asda one as well i would also like to check out m s and waitrose so you know stay tuned if you like food vlogs and grocery hauls please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell because then you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video and i also do lots of family life content we've recently just had this past weekend a weekend away at Paulton's park um for two days with an overnight stay in a hotel which we all really enjoyed so i've got the vlogs for that upcoming for you i've just uploaded a what i eat in a day vlog um so i just do all sorts really meals of the week so i'd love to have you as a subscriber a subscriber i was struggle with that word um so if you are interested in that please hit that button um if you're already subscribed thank you so much if you're a returning viewer thank you for coming back welcome if you are new so first things first is my fridge it's looking all it's not looking too bad but a little bit bare lily doesn't need any yogurt this week i do need to give it a clean though because i had some peaches in a tub and the tub basically wasn't big enough and it tipped on its side and leaked everywhere so there's like oh some syrupy yuckiness in there that i need to clean out um and i'm gonna go through my meal plan with you quickly as well because i was still at the end and i always forget so it's tuesday today and i'm just gonna do a veggie pasta today i'm gonna do a base with passata carrots onions and celery is the word i'm looking for and just do a veggie pasta and probably do it with some homemade bread rolls as well because i have been using this bad boy a lot i need to, oh i need to buy yeast actually that needs to go on my shopping list um i will be doing some baking videos but my yeast has gone past its best because i've had it in my fridge since lockdown 2020 so um yeah it is still working it's just not as active as it should be so i need to get some more and then i'll bring you some baking videos of what i'm making in here um tomorrow gareth is out so i'm just going to do omelets and chips and salad for me and the kids will have like omelets or egg sandwiches and lord knows what lily will have because she doesn't eat egg so we'll figure something else out um Thursday I might do a curry for me and the kids just because we all like curry um and like we'll all eat bits of that even though Gareth isn't here on Thursday either because he's out on Thursday but I'll still do um a curry Friday I'm planning on doing a paella 
Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know, pa paella and salad for us all. Um, there's a question mark over Saturday because I'm seeing my dad on Saturday and I don't know what we're doing for dinner, but I'm also working. Gareth's out on Saturday. He's out a lot this week. Um, so I don't know what we're doing for dinner on Saturday, so I haven't got anything down for that. Sunday, I've got a beef casserole and mash with like rolls because not everybody eats mash in this house. Monday, I thought I'd do a halloumi salad with bread rolls for me and Gareth and the kids could just have like cheese toasties or something. Um, and then back around to Tuesday, I've got a sausage casserole and mash with rolls on the menu. Um, and I do do it by days, but then I do just mix it up depending on what we're doing on each day and what I feel like or, you know, plans change. So yeah, they are subject to change on certain days. But anyway, let's go to Aldi and Tesco. I might not film around the store because my phone's fairly low on battery. We shall see how I feel. Also, I need some brain power for my shopping list because like, it's a bit different this week. Um, so yeah, let's go shopping. on in the day I had to come home dump the stuff chuck a couple of things in the freezer and I still forgot to put a couple of things in there thankfully they're okay though so that's not wasted money and food um and then I put the kids up from school popped to the pharmacy popped to the shop around the corner for me to buy milk because I walked out of Lidl and completely forgot to buy milk because I'm an idiot um so I paid through the nose for less milk which annoys me but that was my mistake um because i was just in a rush trying to get around the shop like looking at ingredients and everything takes time and then i just like ran out of time i also had an errand to run while i was out so yes yeah, we'll just take longer today um anyway so this lot all cost oh sorry that lot all cost me about 80 pounds so i think just over 80 pounds um and it doesn't look like much it really really doesn't but um yeah I don't know. Let's go through it, shall we? I need to get... These are the two things I left out of the freezer, but they are okay. I have checked them. So from Tesco, I popped first. I got the Hearty Food Company for chicken garlic... No, for garlic chicken Kievs. Um, and Gareth and I will be the ones that eat those because the kids would, like, totally turn their noses up at it. Although I might try the boys on half of one each because they do like garlicky things. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. You know, maybe do one of those for them. Um, these are for Lily, chicken nuggets. Um, and, yeah, I realise that the chicken is, like, processed chicken. But when you look at the ingredients on them, like, there's not actually that much in there that you wouldn't find in a regular kitchen. So I'm kind of happy with those. And they're not, like, an everyday thing. So, although these are a staple of Lily, but she's just so fussy. Um, so I got those. And then in Lidl, picked up rocket lollies because my kids love a rocket lolly. I didn't check the ingredients on these because I was just in such a rush by the time I got to the um by the time I got to the freezer section. They're not too bad. They're not too bad. So got some of those. And then these I thought, oh, there's gonna be nothing bad in these. Um picked them up £1.15 because I like fruit splits and I think Gareth does and the kids probably will. And yeah, these have got like emulsifiers in them, which you shouldn't be eating. Um and stabilizers and things. Oh, so yeah. But anyway, I'm doing I'm doing better. So I can only get better from now, can't I? Um so anyway, I got those. What I'm gonna do is put these back in the freezer because they need to get back in the freezer, and then I will go through the rest of this with you. Okay, so um cereal-wise for the children, I've still got some things in the cupboard that are probably I a couple of them are questionable now based on how I want a shop, but 
not wasting food so we'll get through those i bought these for me honey nut clusters with milk chocolate because i love these and when i did look at the ingredients they weren't too bad either really so i got those for me um same with the chocolate hazelnut pillows nothing too bad in there so i thought between you know, all the children, they will have those some mornings for breakfast, and Gareth will probably have some too. Um, I've got these more for Gareth than anyone, and sometimes Zach, because Zach does like some popcorn. And um, yeah, popcorn, I think. Again, like there's not much in the ingredients that I'm not happy with, but you know, it seems fairly natural. Um, ridge cut thick crisps. Now, Lily likes the prawn cocktail crisps and I've already got some. Zach doesn't like the, um, what are they called? They're like the healthier type crisps, like the multi-grain crisps, the sweet chilli ones that I bought for Gareth. So I picked these ones up. Like they're not the best, but they're not the worst. So he doesn't have them every day. So I guess that's okay. Um, treats. Carrying on with the treats now. I picked up some white chocolate, fruit and nut milk chocolate and some milk chocolate to put in the tin um and then that's really all for treats i know i've done cereal i didn't put that in the right section but yeah that's really all for treats and i'm gonna do some baking so i'm gonna make um some brownies i bought a chocolate brownie mix it should be over here i suppose um again not much bad in the ingredients in there so i'm gonna make those but i'm also gonna do some baking bake some cakes and things because if i'm gonna if I'm going to give them treats, I'd rather give them homemade ones so I know exactly what's gone into it. Um, and I'd rather them have real sugar than sweetener because sweeteners are just chemicals. And they don't belong in your body really, do they? So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, it was Italian week at Lidl, so I thought I'd pick up some of this um, orecchiette. Orecchia? I don't know how you pronounce it, but I know that it gets it's given this name because they look like little ears. So it's like little ear pasta. So I picked up some of that and I wouldn't normally buy it, but I think that would be really nice with pesto for me and Gareth. Um, I won't I won't waste such nice pasta on my children who don't flip in and eat anything or appreciate nice food. But me and Gareth will definitely like that. Um, and then again, I'm, just, I'm not going to go on about ingredients the whole time because it's just going to bore everybody to tears. But yeah, check these two and there's nothing like bad in them. So I'm going to stick these in the freezer. And then just pop extra cheese on them. I am making my own pizza dough in my bread maker. But sometimes you just don't have time, do you, if you're working and everything. Um, even if you're not working, sometimes you just don't have time. Um, and then for breakfast, I got some chocolate and hazelnut flavour waffles. Because Lily likes these. Um, all the kids like scotch pancakes. Like These are questionable, but they're not awful. Um, croissants. I didn't get the long life ones because I did not like what was in those. But these ones from Tesco, £2.10 I think. I thought for eight croissants, that's not too bad. And Charlie and Zach both like croissants. I love croissants. Done in the microwave with peanut butter on. That's probably a weird thing, but they are so good. Um, and I got some mouse pie for potatoes to do some mash with. And then moving on to the very healthy section. I've got, I don't know what's going on with Lidl this week. Because there were like no tomatoes. None of the regular cherry tomatoes. All the tomatoes are quite soft and not great to look at. So um, I paid what seemed like an extortionate amount for these. Um, and it's all because they're tawny tomato owls to try and get kids to eat them, which is a load of rubbish. My kids still won't eat them just because they come with a picture of an owl on the front. And they won't put them in their mouth because they th think they were, you were giving them a cyanide pellet. But anyway, me and Gareth will definitely eat these. And they do look quite nice, but they're more expensive than the ones we normally buy. And speaking of spiders, I didn't really see many in Tesco either when I was in there, unless I just didn't see them that section. Um, but I was in a different Tesco to what I normally go to, so I'm not familiar with, with where things are. Um, I bought some British Romaine hearts from Lidl because in Tesco, all the iceberg lettuce were tiny. So I left those behind. And then when I got into Lidl, all the iceberg lettuces were tiny too. So I just got these ones because it seemed like they'd get more lettuce for my you know, money. Um, I got two cucumbers because we'll go through those. And Gareth's the only one that likes radishes. So I can chop those up and put them in his salads. I've got a celery for dinners. And also I'm chopping it up for Gareth to put in his lunches. Um, a thing of carrots because we're all out of carrots and those are from Tesco as you can see so are the radishes cucumbers are from Lidl um, peppers from Tesco two red one orange so all of our favourites in Lidl I got the 
plum sliced apples and then some braven apples i think i'm going to stick with braven apples because my kids really like them um and charlie quite likes to get a snack of an apple and like the fun size ones are just quite a good size for that in Lidl I got some satsumas, which again, not a brilliant selection of like citrus fruits in Lidl for some reason this week. Um, so I hope they're okay. And then I got some bananas because I thought if nothing else, if my kids won't eat them fresh, I can put them in a cake or banana bread and they might eat them that way. So there we go. Um, and then I've also got some blueberries. Not that any of my children will eat them, but me and Gareth will. And it worked out a lot better value for money to get the big one even though these were quite like pricey it didn't make sense to get the smaller one because it just worked out more expensive i got some british strawberries for gareth and i and some red grapes in tesco for zaki um they did have they had green grapes on a club card offer but not red which was annoying because that doesn't really like green grapes um and then i got two cans of peach slices for zach's lunches and snacks and some pineapple slices i think i still got there is a tin of that in the cupboard. So, yeah, he's got plenty of tinned fruit. And I've got another thing of these bear yo-yos. Now, my children, my boys, have decided they don't like the fruit wind-ups from Lidl because they are too sticky. They only like the ones from Aldi. But I didn't go to Aldi in the end because... Which I probably should have said um, first because I was taking you to Aldi with me today. Where I went to, I had to go to my mum's to pick something up for Gareth. Um, by the time I would have got there, like traffic getting out of that area near the school run is absolutely diabolical. So I just thought Lidl was close to where I need to be for the school run, so I'll go to Lidl. So I'll take you to Aldi with me next week. So I'm sorry if anyone's disappointed in that because um, it might be a bit confusing given the title. And then at the beginning of the video, I said I was going to Aldi and then I went to Lidl. So there we are. That's a really boring... Um, way of me explaining that um so then i've got a tin of chickpeas because i like doing a chickpea pasta um so i'm gonna do that one day coming up for me and gareth because again the children won't bloody eat it um baked beans it's always good to have those in the cupboard that glass baked beans um i've got the bats classic barbecue sauce in Lidl and I picked up two because they don't often have it I've not seen it there before um decaf coffee for moi and I didn't buy ice cream in a tub this week however I will in following weeks and I got the kids the toffee flavor sauce so they can try that and I think they'll like that when they have ice cream um I've got a thing of tomato passata so that I can do pasta sauces um oh yeah and then what was i about bear yo-yos i'm going off on tangents today bear yo-yos for lily and the boys there's already some in the cupboard of the bear yo-yos because i bought a big family pack so i thought i would just get their slightly cheaper pack this week um tesco's chocolate spread for lils i need to stop eating this i need to stop putting the spoon in here and then putting the spoon in my mouth it's not good it's not doing anybody any favors i need to stop it um then I got some classic hummus. Gareth didn't like the reduced fat hummus from Lidl last week, so I thought I'd get the classic hummus and see if he likes that. I like all hummus, however it comes, wherever it's from. Um, but he didn't like the reduced fat one. And then for sandwiches, I got simply cooked chicken breast slices. These are 189. They are so nice, they're so moist, they're good to snack on, good for sandwiches. They're just really, really nice. I definitely recommend them. And then I got the Tika chicken breast slices as well because I thought Gareth might like those. And I will like those too. Um, I got some cheese, mature cheese, or mature cheddar. And I got some Gouda slices, which were very expensive, but I really wanted some. It's quite a big pack, so it should last us. I got a pack of chorizo because that's a favourite with the children and Gareth. Um, I got some fat-free natural yogurt for me to have for my breakfasts with some fruit. So, yeah, I'll try that. Um, pack of sausages for sausages and mash. I have got a pack in the freezer, but like, I didn't want to run out. Um, I picked up eight sausage rolls for the kids' lunches and for them to snack on. And then I've got a big bowl of eggs there, but I am having omelettes and things this week and doing some baking, so I picked up six large free range eggs in Lidl they were a good price um and I'm not buying plums anymore I got these plums last week and they're horrible they're just horrible they don't taste nice I just don't like them so I'm not buying plums anymore I don't know how to buy a good plum or if they're just not in season I said they might not be in season but yeah they're horrible um this is the milk that I picked up from the corner 
the shop around the corner from me. Um, and then moving on to the householdy bits, got the melon fragrance toilet tissue wipes. Six simply toilet tissue rolls. They're the double length ones. Um, I've got another, I think this is a mint one. Yeah, mint and tea tree. That smells nice. A shower gel. Um, I thought I could hang up the, fill up the hand soap dispensers with that as well if I need to. And I got some furniture polish because I'm fed up with how dusty the house gets. And I'm wondering if I use furniture polish rather than just like a spray cleaner that I use, whether that might keep the dust at bay for a bit longer. I just think it's the fact that there's five of us living here and we have dark furniture. Um, but there we go. And I got bin bags because we're all out of those. And a full mill non-bio washing liquid because I'm running low on washing powder. And there we go, folks. That is our shop for this week. All 81 pounds of it i think if anybody's wondering what this is um it was a straw it was a one of those bendy curly whirly straws and then this idiot behind the camera put it in the dishwasher and now it's no longer a bendy straw and gareth i think is going to reheat it up and bend it back for charlie but it hasn't happened in the last month that it's been sat here so it's going to go in the bin probably um but yeah that's what that is but anyway, yes, that is our shop. I do hope that you've enjoyed this food haul. And if you have, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Take care. Bye.